To start today, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And the text I want to look at is the text from Luke of the Visitation of Our Lady to Elizabeth, a text we all know pretty well. And it would be easy enough to start with the fantastic canticle of reversal that Mary gave called the Magnificat. But I think enough scholars, enough creative and insightful people have written about that for enough centuries. So what I want to look at rather than the text of the Magnificat is the actual meeting between Mary and Elizabeth. And that's an event that so many artists have painted during so many centuries. The beautiful um, capturing of the, the tenderness, the affection, the love, the caring that is between those two women. One of the women, as we know, is very young. Mary was maybe 15 years old, maybe that, maybe more, maybe less, but very young. And Mary, filled with the Spirit, had come to greet Elizabeth, to give herself to Elizabeth in the last three months of her pregnancy. And Mary, I suggest, was both frightened and um, surprised or confused even because of her situation. Whereas Elizabeth was an older person an older cousin of Mary's, and she was, according to the text, just filled. She was overjoyed uh, and really looking forward to this a surprise event. Both women were pregnant, and both women were pregnant in surprising uh, circumstances. Mary with the gift of the Spirit, and Elizabeth in her old age. But part of the beauty to me is when Mary arrives, she has received the Spirit in the Annunciation and she comes to greet Elizabeth. She comes to give herself. And Elizabeth, on hearing the greeting, rejoices and responds. With that beautiful text, there's now a large part of the Hail Mary. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And then Mary responds with that canticle of reversal, what we well know as the Magnificat. And the point I'm trying to make, I suppose, today is that responding to the Spirit, both of them go out to the other. They go out to meet. They go out in respect, and in love and in caring. And it's rather reminiscent of what we've just seen last Sunday at the Feast of Pentecost. The disciples received the Spirit. And in the Spirit and with the Spirit went out to the places or the markets of the various places, in this case in Jerusalem, to meet and to give to the others what they had received. And then also you and I have received that same spirit in baptism. So why not us? Why don't we go out and give what we have received? I know the Colombians do, many of us, it could be in Malati in the Philippines, or Pusan in Korea, or Santiago in Chile. Any of those places we go out. But what about here? 
Well, here, of course, we go out to those on the trains, on the buses or the trams. We go out to people in shops and in restaurants. And in our case, um, quite often to people in, in clinics or uh, chemists or uh, hospitals. And there we also go out in the spirit and with the spirit. And I think that's it's very important to take the message from the visitation that it's the spirit that moved both Mary and Isabel or Elizabeth. It's the spirit that moved the disciples at Pentecost. And it's the spirit received in baptism that moves us, enables us to go out and be light to the world, to give joy, give hope, just as Mary and Elizabeth gave to one another. Thanks.